Hello, hello, it's Maria. I'm a reporter here with WW Magazine here to take you on another magical escape. Today I am coming to you from one of my favorite Walt Disney World resorts. I'm in the lobby of Wilderness Lodge because today we are going on a tour of the full resort. So without further ado, let's get to the tour. I have to start right here in the lobby. I mentioned in the intro, this is one of my favorite resorts and this lobby has an awful lot to do with that fact. It is beautiful. There are stories and stories and stories when you look up that are framed by these fantastic animal carvings because this entire resort is themed to the turn of the century national parks and the resorts that you might find there. Walt Disney was a huge fan of the national parks. And if we look around this lobby here, we can see some of the carvings in the wood are little nods to the different animals that you will find in the national parks. This five-story lobby also features these very neat totems with animals carved into them, both a tribute to the natives who first inhabited the lands of the national parks and of course those national park animals. There is a beautiful, beautiful fireplace here and if you look very, very closely at those wrought iron gates that close it in, there actually is a little story that's happening here we see Native Americans sitting like they always did around the fire. On the handles there, we have some feathers and some of their traditional weapons, as well as compasses and some very cool feather adornments around the side. And the thing that I love about this fire is, this is a fireplace that was built for Central Florida. It does not emit any heat. So you can sit here, enjoy the AC, but still get that really, really cool sitting by a fireplace feeling. There really are so many details in the lobby from the animal carvings to these really neat rocks and different pieces of earth you would be able to find in the areas that this resort is themed to. Again, those specific Northwest National Parks, as well as items like headdresses inspired by the natives who occupy those lands. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for all of these different elements here that really help set the time and place here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. There is a hot spring that serves as the starting point to Wilderness Lodge's very own geyser. It erupts on the hour every single hour. It is out by Bay Lake. Make sure you check it out if you're visiting or staying here. And also make sure you head into the lobby where you can stand on a bridge and overlook the waters that start the geyser and feed the pool. And if you really do follow this waterway all the way out, it does go all the way to Bay Lake and it is a very, very neat feature. Heading into the resort's shop, the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile, had to show the really cute Disney and Friends totem here that is located on the outside before you head in. And they will have your classic basic Disney merchandise here, but I wanna highlight this. When you first walk in, there is some Wilderness Lodge specific merchandise. You can see there is a really cool branded shirt here. You can even get two sizes of that totem that is outside featuring the Disney characters. They have a blanket featuring Mickey that does have the resort name on it, a mug with that totem totem design and the Wilderness Lodge logo on the back. That's really cool for coffee or some beer if you are a beer drinker. And they also have a frame as well, featuring some of the emblems of the lobby, even the chandelier from the lobby. I love that. And down here, a really, really nice corksicle Wilderness Lodge branded tumbler with that wood design. So really cool Wilderness Lodge specific pieces of merchandise in here. Pin traders head on into the mercantile. They've got a huge canvas board here themed again to the resort, but with some really, really neat Disney pins on here. They even have some of the new Disney 100 pins. So if you are a trader, the mercantile is your place to trade. For any guest visiting or staying at Wilderness Lodge, right at the check-in desk, you can obtain this very cool Wilderness Lodge themed hidden Mickey hunt. You put your name there on the front and then on the back, it tells you where you can find those hidden Mickeys, at least gives you some clues where you might be able to find them. When you are done, you can turn this back into the front desk for a little surprise. And I love this. It really is a great way if you do want to tour the resort yourself to keep your kids engaged and keep them occupied while you are on that tour. I am headed out of the main lobby building, taking this beautiful covered path to the Boulder Ridge Villas. Now, this is one of the two DVC spots you can stay. Use your points here or you can pay out of pocket if you're not a DVC member. However, there is a very specific reason I am heading here and I recommend you do the same whether you're staying in Boulder Ridge Villas or not because there is an amazing piece of Disney history hidden in the Boulder Ridge building. I am heading into the Carol Wood Pacific Room. In this room, there is an unbelievably cool piece of Disney history. We're walking over to it right now. This right here is a very real, very authentic 
piece of Walt Disney's backyard train. This piece of this train was part of the Carolwood Pacific Railway. Walt absolutely loved, loved trains. And this was one of the small scale trains that he had running through his backyard. There are images of Walt sitting on this train in his yard. And I can't believe that they have this original piece here at Wilderness Lodge for any guests to come see whether you're staying here or not. Like I said, it's a true piece of history, working piece of history, and it is right here in the Boulder Ridge Villas room. You've got to come check it out if you're here. The Boulder Ridge building is also where you will find the gym that serves the entirety of Wilderness Lodge. It's really cute. Look, you can be as ripped as that tree right there. Another reason that Wilderness Lodge ranks among my top favorite Walt Disney World resorts is because of the vast food offerings that they have here. So let's check those out. Whispering Canyon Cafe is one of Wilderness Lodge's most famous table service restaurants. They serve brunch and dinner here every single day. And not only is this restaurant located right off the lobby, you can see the tables from the lobby. It's very neat. It is open concept. You can see the lobby from the tables. Works both ways. But the wait staff here is known for being extra silly and extra goofy. For example, you might see them dressed in gigantic crazy hats like this if you do dine here. And if you do ask for ketchup, might receive more than just one bottle. So keep that in mind when you are dining here. It is a very fun place. The wait staff is very, very, very interactive and they serve all of the food skillet style. So it's all you care to enjoy. Artist Point is the restaurant located right off the main lobby and it is currently serving a character themed dinner. At the time of the filming, this is a Snow White, Seven Dwarfs, Evil Queen themed meal. It is very neat. There is a tree in the center of the restaurant you can kind of see from here. Unfortunately, the gates are closed right now. We can't go inside, but this is definitely an elegant elevated dining experience. As you can see, there are little trees on the tables if you can see them. They actually serve some of the appetizer portions on. You do get to meet Snow White, some of the Seven Dwarfs, and the Evil Queen herself during this dining experience. Just off of Artist Point is Territory Lounge. Territory Lounge is, serves drinks and some light snacks in the evenings here at Wilderness Lodge. Right now it's obviously closed, but that's great for us because I get to show you some of the cool things about this lounge. Here in Lighted Cases are a lot of real authentic leather props and some guns and some canteens and some cameras and things that real explorers have used and would use out when they are exploring the Pacific Northwest or the Wild West. Okay, okay, I think I figured out one of these clues while we're here too. Lounge, number five, lift your glass of brew, have a cup of stew, read the map in the sky, that's the one that gave it away for me, and have a look if you try. So there is a map on the ceiling of Territory Lounge. It is very, very cool. It features the Mississippi River and the surrounding area. And if you look hard enough, you just might find one of those hidden Mickeys. Roaring Fork is Wilderness Lodge's quick service location. It is located on the lower level of the main lobby and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner here every day. And this is also a spot where you can get and refill those refillable resort mugs. While in my experience, Roaring Fork is one of the better quick services here on property, this is what I come for. They make these here each and every day. I'm surprised there's any left because it is after lunchtime when I'm here. This is a grizzly bear claw and this is a blueberry cinnamon roll. These things are absolutely gigantic and when they put them out in the morning at breakfast time, they are fresh, just made. And when they are gone, they are gone for the day. They are both unbelievably good. They're kept in this warmer, so they're always gonna be hot and sticky and warm when you get them. They're obviously very shareable because of their size. Honestly, you could share these among a family of four or five and everyone would get a taste and you would still probably have some leftovers. So come in here to this hot station and check and see if they have any pastries on your next visit. As I make my way outside to explore the amenities, tune in for more from my friends over at WDW Magazine. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic. Just a truly gorgeous, gorgeous resort here. My back is facing the pool. And a really neat thing, if you remember from the lobby earlier where that water started, if you followed it all the way outside, crossed it underneath this bridge that I'm standing on here, that very same water does feed the pool.
This is the main pool where we've got a slide. You will also have your recreation hosts here who do trivia and all sorts of fun stuff for the kiddos. There is a little splash pad off the back for kids too. And this is the main pool right outside of the main lobby. Right there is where that water seemingly flows back out of the pool to feed the one and only Wilderness Lodge Geyser. In the little building that normally houses the spa, right now at the time of filming, it has been turned into a really fun recreational arts and crafts spot. You can trade pins here, you can decorate different art things, like you can create a pin of your very own, you can draw and paint on it, and you can create, you can see them kind of cooking here, some tie-dye shirts that guests have made. This is for purchase, but it's nice and air-conditioned in here. If you need a little reprieve, a little break from the pool, come on in here. They've got some really neat things for kids and adults to do too. The next stop on our tour of the dining locations is one of my favorite across all of Walt Disney World Resort, Geyser Point Bar and Grill. It is located right on the shores of Bay Lake. The entire restaurant is open year round. You can have these amazing views out to the lake. If you are here in the evenings, the electrical water pageant does pass by these waters right here, granting you an awesome opportunity to see that. They have a full service bar. This is also the same bar that you can walk up to if you are at the pool and wanted a drink. If you're someone who's interested in news or sporting events, they always do show very important sporting events out here on multiple TVs. So although the signs do say Geyser Point Bar and Grill and this little sign here points you to in-person dining or to go ordering, it is a very little known fact among most people that this quick service quote unquote walk up part of Geyser Point here is actually the exact same menu in the exact same kitchen. So anything you see on that Geyser Point menu, you're able to order from this walk up. Sometimes there's a long wait at Geyser Point and you don't have time for that or you wanna take your food back to the pool. Beware of possible crossing bison when you're walking around here. It looks like they left some footprints. Here is the second pool, sometimes known as the Quiet Pool. It is located right in front of the Boulder Ridge DVC building, which you can see across the back, back there. That is one of two buildings. This is the other one right here. This is the Copper Creek building right here at Wilderness Lodge. They have one, two, three bedroom villas, grand villas. They have studio villas. So you can check between the two and see which of the two might fit you or your family's needs. And they also have an option that sleets up to eight folks with its own hot tub. Heading down to check out some of the Cascade cabins. They are part of DVC, but you can also, like I said earlier, pay out of pocket and rent them. They sleep up to eight guests. They are absolutely huge. Here's a look at them. And off the back of each and every one of them, there is a pretty big screened in patio. They all face Bay Lake, those patios. So you can look out over the lake at any point of the evening. You can also catch that electrical water pageant out on the back of your patio there as well. And inside those screened in patios, there is a private hot tub. Got some lawn games out here on the lawn that faces the beautiful Bay Lake. I see a fishing excursion happening out there right now. You can also rent private pontoon boats over at the Contemporary, and you can take them out here and drive them by here. I've actually done it. It's a really, really cool and fun experience. And here is the backside of that seating from Geyser Point. You can actually see Bay Lake Tower right over there. That's how close we are to the Contemporary. Ping pong, foosball, and pool are located right next to that recreation lawn, just under some cover. And again, you can still see that lake, beautiful. Several of the national parks, Yellowstone immediately comes to mind, have these raised up walkways that kind of lift the guests up off of the terrain that might be unsafe, that they might want to preserve for the animals who live in the area. And they've done that same thing here at Wilderness Lodge. I'm actually walking out to the docks right now where guests can take boat transportation to Magic Kingdom. If you are coming from those boat launches and you make a right on this raised up pathway, you will find yourself at the other half of the Cascade cabins. Those are those big cabins that sleep up to eight with the private hot tubs off the back. Now this side over here, the water pageant will cross over the water bridge area, but it won't stop and perform the show here. So if you're on this side of the Cascade cabins, you won't see the electrical water pageant. However, some of these cabins, especially the ones towards the end, I have heard that you can catch glimpses of whatever Magic Kingdom fireworks show is happening at the time. So keep that in mind when you're booking. And that is going to do it for me here today at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. If you like this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and you can turn on that notifications bell because you will be notified each and every time we post a new video like this and each and every time we go live. Thank you again for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next Magical Escape.